Welcome back everyone. This challenge is about finding a unique number and that unique number is having its own uniqueness and that uniqueness is its evenness. Now what do I mean by that is we will be given a string of numbers and we need to find a unique number from the given string of numbers. So here one tricky part is we will not get the array of numbers. We will get the string of numbers and we need to return the index of that unique number. But that unique number will differ in evenness. What do I mean? So if you check the first example, we have numbers 2, 4, 7, 8, 10. In this collection, 7 is the one which is odd, but the rest of the numbers are even. That means in this collection, we need to return the index of 7 as an output because this is the one which is unique from this collection. If you check the other example where we have numbers 37, 91, 117, 75, 87, 78 and 21. In this collection, every other number, every number is odd, but 78 is even. That means 71, 78 is the one which is unique and the index of 78 is 5. So that means we are not sure whether we will always get a unique number. I mean, we will always get even number or odd number. The uniqueness lies in the evenness of every number that is provided to us. So it is a very interesting problem. Let's try to attempt it. The first example, 2, 4, 7, 8, 10, where 7 is the unique and we need to return it as an output. I mean, not the 7, but the index of 7. The first tricky part is we will be given a string of numbers. So I hope you know by now that we need, we need to split it and we, need, we will get the array of those numbers because we want to iterate over it and we need to check the uniqueness of those numbers. So let's create a number array and we get the array from string by using string dot split method. If we directly do that, it won't do much. Uh, let's write it here. It is still array with a single value. Let's split it with empty string that we were doing in the previous examples. Then we have two, then empty space as a as a value in another index, and then four, seven, all those things. And ten is actually got splitted where one is a separate number and zero is a separate value in the array. So let's split it with the space. If we do so, then we get the actual output because this, this particular string is split with an space. Okay, now we have number array. Let's try to find a unique value. For that, um, I will create two arrays. The one will be the even tracker. I will initialize it with an empty array. Next one would be odd tracker this will also be empty why we are doing it because i want to store even and odd numbers separately and what logic i'm trying to write is if i iterate over those collections and i will find i will separate them in their own trackers or let's name it even list even number list and odd number list. I'll create these two lists and whichever list has only one value, that means that number is unique and other numbers are having of particular set. So for example, if even number list is having one number and odd number list is having, let's say three numbers, that means the unique number is an even number and other numbers are odd. Okay. Let's write a code and see the output. Then I'll, and I'm sure that you will get what I just said. So let's write a for loop where I will iterate over these, I mean the number array for I equal to zero. I is less than number array dot length i plus plus and now 
check for number if for a better visibility let's create another variable current that will be number array at i let's check if the current number mod 2 if it is 0 that means if it is even then we will push that number in even list we'll push the current number otherwise we will push in odd number list okay we're simply checking for one number and we are testing which one is it is it a even number or an odd number okay and also let's try to print even number list and odd number list i think we have a problem here even num list odd num list what is the problem if we comment this out no problem somewhere I had a typo I think so capital I is not defined okay I, oh this is a mistake I need to write small i okay all right so sorry for the typo <laughs> okay so now as you can see i have two different collections even number list odd number list and i correctly have seven residing inside odd number list because out of this collection seven is the one which is odd and rest of the numbers are even now we get the unique number because we know that this is the list which will always have single value as a part of this problem well, now what we can do we will check if even number list dot length because if we have a single value that means it is having a only unique number and the length will always be one so if even number list dot length is one if it is true then we will return number array dot index of even number list the of zero otherwise we will return number array dot index of odd number list and the only value okay we need to return the index but writing this code let's write a curly brace to have a better visibility of the code otherwise return this one okay so as a part of this particular input two four seven eight ten we know that seven is the one which is odd and we have it in the odd number list and we are sure that this will only have a single number a single value as a part of this particular thing so if it is having a length of one we have to return a number i mean the index of that number from the list otherwise return from the other one let's check with the other input in this case we are expecting to get the index of 78 which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so let's check that out if we replace it then we have 78 stored in even number list and if you check the index of 78 from the number array then it is correctly returning 5 this is a very interesting problem i hope you liked it i'll see you in the next one and i hope this is the one which is the most interesting challenge we have attempted till now. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.